When you drink wine, the liquid enters your mouth in slow sips and is swallowed, sliding down the esophagus into the stomach, where both alcohol and natural compounds from grapes begin interacting with your body at the same time. Because wine is liquid, alcohol does not need digestion, so it moves quickly into the small intestine, where it is absorbed directly into the bloodstream and starts spreading through the body within minutes. As the alcohol reaches the liver, the liver immediately shifts priority to breaking it down, converting alcohol into acetaldehyde, a toxic substance that stresses liver cells, even when the amount seems small. Wine also contains antioxidants like polyphenols, which are often talked about as beneficial, but these compounds are absorbed in much smaller amounts compared to the alcohol itself, so the liver still carries the main burden. As alcohol reaches the brain, nerve signals slow down, affecting judgment, focus, and reaction time, while the heart may beat a little faster to circulate the alcohol through the blood. In the stomach, wine can increase acid production and irritate the lining, especially if consumed on an empty stomach, causing warmth, discomfort, or nausea in some people. Alcohol also reduces a hormone that helps the body retain water, leading to increased urination, dehydration, dry mouth, and fatigue later on. While wine may create a short feeling of relaxation or calm, that effect fades quickly while stress on the liver, brain, stomach, and nervous system continues, which is why abstinence remains the safest option for protecting the body. Why do the supposed benefits of wine feel small compared to its effects? Why does relaxation come first, but tiredness and dehydration come later? What do you think happens inside the body if wine becomes a regular habit. Comment your thoughts below and subscribe and follow for more ED videos.